<laughs> All right, it's back, folks. Gaslighting segment. Yeah, I know you guys love this stuff. Uh, yeah, there's so many things that just get Noah and I fired up. And from, from our perspective, this is a way of just venting sometimes on the ludicrousy of what happens in the world of cybersecurity. Uh, we're all getting burned out in this business. I, unfortunately, or fortunately for Noah and I, uh, this is a good way for us to just talk to you and, and say, hey, check this out. First story that we got to talk about is this Kronos thing. Now, in the, Kronos, it started back in December. Uh, are you familiar with the Kronos software at all? Yeah, so Kronos is a payroll software. Yep. And so Kronos getting ransomware means that these companies that rely on Kronos to pay their employees, they're not paying their employees. They're not able to. They've got to revert to paper records. Yeah. And, you know, you know, it's not just the, the payroll stuff that got impacted by with Kronos getting breached. It was it was schedules, too. Like if you're a company that uses Kronos for not just payroll, but your scheduling. Imagine like over that Christmas holiday when this thing started you're not able to access scheduling, you're not able to get payroll, and so many companies use Kronos. The, the, the thing that caught my eye was how now some of these, like for example, the Metropolitan Transportation Association, MTA, they're now saying we need to get rid of Kronos. All right, a lot these health, you, you, University of Florida Health said, we need to just get rid of Kronos altogether and go to something else. So I know even here locally, we're, we're based in Utah, but University of Utah got hit with it. And when that system goes offline and you jerk around with people's payroll, they get really upset really quickly, Noah. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, but, you know, the months old, this is a months old attack now, and the administrative chaos is insane. I mean, millions of people that are impacted by Kronos and not getting their paycheck. But the way this happened, Noah, is what caught my attention because the backups for Kronos were infected. Oh, no. Yeah. That is not what you want to see in no, a ransomware event. And the private, the private cl uh, cloud had the Kronos private cloud, the number of outages in that. Um, people's paychecks were still short. Not only that, hundreds of thousands of dollars people were missing in their paycheck right around Christmas time. And now here we are in the new year and people are still not getting paid, man. And with Chrono, the hackers disabled Kronos's ability to communicate with backup environments. And as you guys know, lesson learned here, folks, you got to make sure you have your backups. You got to make sure you're testing your backups. If you're not doing that kind of stuff on a regular basis, you're going to have a hard, hard time recovering from a ransomware attack just like Kronos is right now. Oh, yeah. And if you're not testing your backups, you don't have backups because you don't know if they work. <laughs> yeah, no joke.